We don't really know anything at this point. I think it's it's very uncertain that the thing has happened. And I got to tell you, Carl, John McCain is playing with fire right now. If you believe what Hank Paulson is saying about the risk to the economy, if this does not get done, this is a very dangerous game with risk for the economy and with risk for John McCain. I was at the Capitol yesterday, Carl, most of the afternoon talking to Senate Republicans. Lamar Alexander of Tennessee told me there were 40 votes in the Senate for this consensus deal that they had come up with uh, with the uh, leadership on both sides. Now, if you're John McCain as the leader of your party with the president and the Treasury Secretary wanting this to happen, you've got a choice then. You can embrace that deal and then take it as your leadership responsibility to try to get the uh, votes necessary in the House Republican Caucus. He chose not to do that. And if we have a big market sell-off, he's in real danger of owning that sell-off, uh, and it's a dangerous uh, position for him to be fin uh, in terms of his campaign. Look, let's step back and look at the big picture. He was getting hammered politically for the last week, right. okay? He, he, he's up against a lot in this election. The wind is in his face. Barack Obama has a lot of natural advantages. He, he uh, achieved some momentum by picking Sarah Palin at the Republican convention. That was blown out of the water of course. by the financial crisis. And Palin, the Palin pick is looking worse and worse all the time. You look at the poll numbers, people are doubting her qualifications. She's having uh, interviews that are not going very well for right. her. And then John McCain ha faces this story about his campaign manager and Freddie Mac after he got uh, very uh, out front in terms of condemning greed and corruption. So then what does he do? He suspended his campaign. He comes back to Washington, goes into the White House, and that meeting blows up. This is the risk that he's taken on by doing this. If something comes together, it is possible that he can salvage some credit out of that. Certainly, that's what his people hope. Republican advisors tell me that people advising McCain say they want a deal to happen. And one of the speculations they make is that McCain, uh, with House Republicans, are trying to create a scenario in which McCain looks good when a deal comes together. It's possible that that would happen, but I'm telling you, if in fact Paulson is correct and that the markets are going to respond negatively to the prospect of not having a deal, that is what John McCain's taking on his shoulders right now.